Abraham Lincoln once said, you can learn more about a person in 15 minutes of adversity than you can in a lifetime of prosperity. Now, the WJC-TV News. With Kelsey Lawworth, Emmanuel Wilson, and Devin Sloan. Sports with Lloyd and Yamante Carter. Entertainment with Trey Brown. Weather with Ahmed Alderoish. And field reports by James Allen. Now, the WJC TV News. Hello, everyone, and welcome to WJC TV First Broadcast. In Parkins News, the construction trades are hard at work in the new administrative area. The new admin area has been under construction for the last couple of months. I've been talking to Mr. Yates and Mr. Yakers exactly what's been going on. Uh, on center is the, is the counselor's, new counselor's office. It gives them a lot of experience in a lot of different things. As far as what we're doing here, we teach a little bit of everything in the uh, facility maintenance trade. Two rooms have been fully completed, and one's already in use right now, and the teachers are absolutely loving it. So what do you think about my new classroom? We've been displaced for a while, but as you can see, guys, it's finally all coming together thanks to the students here at Perkins Job Corps. studs and sheetrock and drywall. Electrical, if electrical students want to transfer to Mr. Yates' class, they're going to have a, a lot of experience already in, so. This is James Allen with WJC-TV. Back to y'all in the studio. Last week, three members of the SGA graduated, leaving several positions open. Kelsey Longworth sat down with James Allen to discuss how you can become part of it. Hey guys, I'm here with James Allen and I'm Kelsey Longworth and today I will be asking James some questions about SGA. Okay James, so what is SGA? A student body council. What are some things that you do in SGA? Um, we discuss like we have a certain amount of funds, we discuss if there's anything like y'all want to do, any fun activities, what we can do to make it more interesting for the students and make it better. That's awesome. So what is your role as an SGA member? Uh, I'm the sergeant, sergeant in arms of SGA. Uh, all it pretty much means is I just make sure everybody does what they're supposed to, help out when I can, and support the president at all times. Awesome. So if anyone wanted to sign up, what would they have to do? Um, first thing you have to have, you have to at least have a civil card to join and just be, help out, do extra stuff around, show that you're willing to go above and beyond, like other stuff people wouldn't want to do, and fill out a form, and they'll, they'll get back to you in a week saying if you can, and more than likely if you do all that, they'll let you. Awesome. Guys, you hear that? Sign up. Okay, so in your meetings, what are some things that you discuss? Uh, you know, just how, how everything's going on campus, if there's any big things going on, any problems, is everybody getting along with everybody, anything we can do to make it more comfortable. Just really, just it's really all about the students. Awesome. So how many members are there currently? Um, currently this week, we have five, but after today, it won't be won't be any just me so I need a lot more people to step up and help I know there's a lot of good role models mm -hmm. um, it don't really affect your trade or anything just we just need people to step up and lead guys go and sign up please would you like to add anything else James um not really um just we're trying we're probably gonna be working on trying to get some big things going just you never know and just keep on looking forward to the future I know things might get repetitive here, but we're working on finding new stuff to do every day. Just stick with us. We'll get you something to do. All right. Awesome. Thank you, James, for talking to us today. You're welcome. I'm Kelsey Longworth with your SGA report, and I'll talk to you next time. 
This week is self-care week, and we, the center, have activities everywhere. For some, taking care of those nails took priority. Kelsey has the story. Hey guys, this is Kelsey Longworth, and today we are doing the nail cleaning because it is self-care week. So I cannot wait to see these beautiful ladies get their nails done. So let's go. I've got to say, getting my nails done was a lot of fun. Oh, definitely. But that wasn't the only thing going on for Self Wellness Week. We had a little live music. Oh, and Mr. Romero was really great out there playing for us. Oh, absolutely. He was awesome. His voice is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a really nice week outside. Let's go to Ahmed with the weather. Looks like we're having some technical issues. We'll get back to Ahmed when we get that worked out. But first, don't forget our sponsors, the Job Corps Incentive Store, where you can get a little bit of everything. Hello, I am Cooter Wilmot proprietor of this here Job Corps Incentive Store, Honky Tonk Feed Store, Gun Shop, Used Car, Burger Bait, Barbecue, Barber Shop, Laundry Mat, General Store. All you incentive card holders, your platinum, your gold, your blue, your green, your gray, we got something nice for all of you. Everything from snacks to deodorant. And if you're a vibranium card holder, at the Job Corps Incentive Store, a uh, honky tonk feed store, gun shop, used car, burger, bait, barbecue, barbershop, laundry man. NBA playoffs are in full swing this year. Let's check in with Lloyd and Jamonte with sports. Monte, and this is Lloyd, and welcome to the Sports Show. Let's get it, man. All right, gentlemen, it's time for two things. First thing, Bucks versus Lakers. Jamonte, go. Today we're going to talk about Bucks and Lakers. So the Bucks got Giannis, Lakers got trash LeBron. Okay, look. LeBron's trash, he's getting old, he can't move. Giannis, he's still young, he got the length and the strength. So Giannis is better than LeBron because he'll dunk on him. And then LeBron can't do nothing for real. And then LeBron, I think LeBron's retiring, retiring, right? <sighs> oh, Giannis, 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 no, no. LeBron, all the way. Kobe, all the way. Giannis just got them long arms, and he's tall. That's it. He can dunk. He barely can shoot a three. So I'm not hearing none of that. You, is I'm not hearing none of that. LeBron can do anything. No, LeBron. Play. LeBron's getting old. LeBron's getting old. I'm sorry to break it down to you. He's going to retire, and then Giannis is going to take over. I'm sorry. All right, second thing. In football, Tariq Hill went from Kansas City to the Dolphins. Lloyd, go. I don't know why he did that. The Dolphins suck. They suck. He should have stayed on the same team. Dolphins suck. I ain't never seen them win the Super Bowl. And that's on God. He, he should have stayed on the Chiefs. And then won that. Won just one more at least. One more before you get in trade over. Because there ain't no use. There's nobody on the Dolphins. I'm sorry. I mean, he should have at least trade to the Ravens or the 
Seahawks or something. On the Bengals. Bengals. Today we got this dope video for y'all. Uh, oh my god, look, look. So this fake niggas coming to the sideline. Coming to the sideline. That's exactly what he's injured. He got boom. He gone. He gone. Nobody can't touch him. Nobody can't touch him. But he scored. Somebody trying to touch him. Yeah, yeah he's speed. It's two people running after each other. But well, yeah, imagine he dropped the ball though. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna laugh at that point if he dropped that ball. I'm telling you, cause there was no use. It was no use to do that. Doing that play if you drop that ball, and then the coach is gonna yell at you. This has been WJC TV Sports with the Carter Brothers. So recently, Carl D. Parkins entered into a regional contest and won first place. My co-hosts Devin and Emmanuel were part of it. Devin, tell us more about the elevator pitch. So an elevator pitch is just like a quick short term that's used for a sales pitch, you know. So um, Mr. Ramirez got this idea and we kind of made a spoof about it. So we'd like to get you have you check it out. Sunday, 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 all elevators must go. Half price, big elevators, small elevators. Two for Tuesday. Elevators here, elevators there. Oh, we had this all wrong. I am so sorry, Phil. Stop, stop, stop. We had this all wrong. <laughs> all right. Okay, that was the joke, man. Um, but here, this is the award winning pitch. No, I'm telling you, man, if they get that off, it's going bad this year, man. Oh, hey, hey, man, it's Dave from 4C. How you doing? Do you ever think about what you wanted to do? I tell you what, you should come see us over at Job Corps. I'm a security instructor, and we are placing students making over $50,000 a year right now. Matter of fact, one client will put you up for almost two months in a hotel. I mean, you can save your money, uh, get a car, maybe an apartment, really get your life started. Hey, man, not just that. I'm in facility maintenance, which is a hard trade here. And while you're at Job Corps, they provide you with a free place to stay, free food, uniforms for your trade. I got a ton of certifications. I can even Hey, listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you about the awesome. electrical trade. They have a great teacher that really sets you up with real life situations. But we have something for everybody. We have office administration, carpentry, and then for after hours, we have a great weight room, a nice ball court, and we even have a rec room. Hey, don't forget the off center. Oh, yeah, that's important. They man. take a soft center for shopping, laser tag, bowling, all sorts of stuff. Anyway, I have a card that has a QR code on it. All you do is scan it, take you right to the website. Explain everything you need to know, or even sign up if you're ready. I think you really should consider this. It's a real life changer. Anyway, we got to take off. It was good seeing you. Anyway, the Saints man. Oh, man. All right, speaking of entertainment, let's see what Trey Brown has for us today. Welcome to JCTV Entertainment, and today we're coming at y'all with a hot topic with a special guest, the one and only Dakota Schumacher, and we will be talking to him today about not one, not two, but five haircuts in one week. So Let's tell me, you. Mr. Schumacher, what made you five in one week? That's a new world record, my boy. What's going on, man? I had different haircuts for different days, a lot of stress. A lot of stress. It's coming oh, in and out oops. of my life. So, you know what I'm saying? So, let me ask you this. Do you change your hairstyle based on your emotions? Yeah. A yeah. lot of times, uh, with a lot of people, especially in my family, we we go through different things. We're not like regular people. So, our haircuts define who we are. Okay. We'll have some of my family, we do hair, like long hair. Right, right. That's to express our emo phase, our sad phase. Right. Each month, uh, it depends on your mood. Okay, then, okay, then. Well, we on the it's, time limit. We on the time limit. You don't got to get too much on the dark side. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Keep a little bright. So tell me, you know what I'm saying? What was, you know what I'm saying? At first, I know you was rocking the, uh, I don't know what the, what the, the Viking Viking cut. Yeah, the Viking cut. And then what was it? It was the, I don't know what what did you call that? Uh, a mullet? Like, oh, I don't know what to call. It. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know you cut it on the side, so it was like a taper on the side at first. Something. It was a high and tight. It's a mm -hmm. 
My family, I come from a military family, so of course. we do high and tight, so that's what the top it was. Mm. And then you have like something like a buzz crazy. cut, but you had like a froish buzz cut type thing, type thing going. Yeah. And then you went to a mohawk, which was recent. And that, I'm going into the Marine Corps. Of course, of course. Uh, next week, I'm actually going to be talking to a recruiter. As you should, as you should. Man. And I get my SAT scores either this week or next week. Right. So when I get those, I'm immediately signing up. Right, right. Question. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So where you see yourself, man? Like, what hairstyle you got planned next, GD? Jesus. Like, it's probably going to be, it's probably going to stay at the buzz cut. At the buzz cut. Let's all give a warm thank you to Mr. Schumacher. Now let's look around center to see some more haircuts. Right back at you. This is T Breezy with another one of the JCTV Entertainment. We'll catch y'all next week. All right, that was great. Now let's head back to the weather desk and see if our if we got our issues worked out. Where's this guy going? Just, just. You've come too far to only come this far. Life is full of challenges, and when life throws you a roadblock, you have to fight through it to get what you want. You didn't come this far to only come this far. Didn't come this far to only come this far. You come this far to only come this far. You didn't come this far to only come this far. Didn't come this far to only come this far. You didn't come this far to only come this far. Look, you've already come this far. Don't let the day to day challenges of life prevent you from reaching your own goals. A big part of Job Corp's mission is to students ready for the workforce. Let's go to Mr. Romero with the student personnel report. Hello everyone, it's Mr. Romero with an SPO report. Uh, I have some interesting things to go over with you, uh, some uh, valuable information. First of all, something I think you'll really like, uh, we had a discussion and Ms. Davis, the center director, has decided that wearing hats after the training day is okay indoors, if you're in the dorm, if you're in this building, uh, going to lunch or to dinner or what have you, you can wear hats. Obviously, during the training day, you are still not allowed to wear hats on campus. So after the training day is over, hats are okay. Another thing, um, uh, hoodies, indoor, no hoods on, okay? Once you're outside, and obviously you can put your hood on if you're wearing a hoodie, but when you're indoors, uh, no hoodies on indoors. Uh, we've had a few issues with backpacks. You're only allowed to wear or use clear backpacks on campus. So we do have an order in. Talk to Miss Sarah for an update. Uh, and, and we have some black uh, backpacks coming in. And I'm not sure exactly when they'll be here, but we still have a few of them for those of you who don't have one or if one's not in good condition and falling apart, we may be able to get you a new one. Uh, but we should get those in here pretty quickly. Um, one of the issues we've heard quite a bit about this past week was we have lots of uh, pets running around campus, uh, cats, um, some other things. Um, and please keep in mind, cruelty to animals is never okay. So let's not uh, let's not mess with these animals. Um, you know, obviously, if if you don't like them, you can stay away from them. But uh, but please. Do not be cruel to these animals. All right, moving on. Um, the SGA drive, student government. Uh, we have several openings throughout the week. Several students have signed up and, and put in applications. So the opportunity could present itself. We will have a vote. 
It's important even if you don't want to be on the SGA, student government, you might want to vote. And it kind of gives you an idea of what you'll be doing when you not only here on campus for positive change, but in, you know, after school, when you get into your regular life, who's going to be running the country, who's going to be running your local town or or wherever you live, state government. So uh, get used to that process and, and get involved in voting for the SGA. Those of you who want to be involved, uh, who are thinking about being a member of SGA, go ahead and sign up, get those applications in. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about our social media. We, uh, we have all kinds of social media for the show, so you can get this information. Our, our website is Facebook. So fb.me slash WJCTV, obviously for our VCast, that's how you find us on Facebook. Um, and we keep you up to date with all the things going on, uh, you know, how to find the VCast and watch it. Um, so you, we also have a Twitter account and it's at WJCTV. I'm looking at this monitor over here, uh, so <laughs> helping me out with all these different things. Let's see here. As it comes back around, I already said Facebook, fb.me slash WJCTV. Twitter is at WJCTV dash CDP. Instagram, WJCTV dot CDP. I don't know. They, everybody has their own different way of, uh, of uh, how you can make a username. So that's what we had to work with. All right, so another thing that we're going to do during this SPO report is, I, I call it a life hack. What I'm going to do is introduce you to a staff member, and if that staff member might have something that could help you in life, we'll take 20 or 30 seconds to just explain it to you. This week, we will talk about equity and ownership. You'll hear about that. You'll wonder, well, what does that mean? Now you know. Hi there. I'm Michael Brisky, Director of Finance Administration. I'd like to spend a couple seconds and just talk to you about equity and ownership uh, being a, a life skill that's important to everyone. Um, equity is the amount of ownership that you have in something. If you buy a car or a house, the equity you have in that asset is uh, what you've paid uh, above what you owe. Um, likewise, if you invest in a business, your amount of equity is the amount that you've actually put in or invested toward the business or the amount of the assets or equipment that you've donated toward the business. All right. So you guys, anyone who's spending any time with me, uh, you know that I, I love positive attitudes. It's something important in life. You'll hear me repeat the study that I, I read uh, quite a few years back, but basically it says that more people get ahead in their job, get a promotion because of their attitude as opposed to how good they actually are at their job. So people like being around other people that have good attitudes and good work ethics. And that's why you always hear me stress these type of things. So right now I have a little video that I want to show you and, uh, and I think you'll find it interesting. I didn't come this far to only come this far. I hear some people saying things like, when I make it, when I get to the top, I'll keep working hard until I get to the top, until I reach my goal. Let me tell you something. There is no end. Winners never stop. If you reach a goal, set a bigger goal. If you get to the top of the mountain, find a bigger mountain. It's the journey. The continued pursuit of growth, the constant seeking of improvement, the challenge, that's what makes life great. That's what makes a fulfilled life. I didn't come this far to only come this far. When I get this goal, I'll seek more. Not more things, more growth. Constantly pushing myself to be better. I didn't come this far to only come this far. I came this far so I could be strong enough to go further. So I'll be good enough to push myself hard. I'm only getting started. This is just the beginning. I'm proud of my achievements, but that doesn't mean I'll settle for them. Proud, but never satisfied. 
proud, but forever home. Proud and always ready. Proud but pushing. Pushing for more. Pushing for great. A true winner doesn't seek only the title. A true winner seeks growth. A true winner seeks greatness. It's the journey. It's the challenge. Don't tell me it's over. I'm just getting warmed up. If the journey wasn't challenging, the destination wouldn't be rewarded. It's the challenge that makes the greatness. You can't have a champion athlete without great competitors pushing them all the way. You can't have the greatest of all time without champions pushing them all the way. It's the journey, the process that makes the greatness. If you reach your goal, set a bigger goal. If you get to the top of the mountain, find a bigger mountain. All right, I love that, that's great. All right, so another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a poll and it's gonna be on Twitter. Go to our Twitter, and you can see it down here scrolling at the bottom. Go to our Twitter, and then and take the poll, make your choice, and then reply to it. Those who reply, I'll do a drawing, and I'll give an incentive away to the winner of that drawing every show. Get your face up on the screen during Mr. Romero's SPO report as the winner of the poll and the incentive, and we'll move forward there. So now... We have some students that we need to acknowledge before I go. Uh, we have some students here that got jobs after coming to our school and then moved on. Uh, Mr. Christopher Collier, uh, DeMarco Gilbert, Tyler Green, Cortez Johnson. All these, po all these folks were placed in jobs. Skylar Pagel, William Shipman, Betty Sue Smith, and Cordarius Wright. And these are all students that were here not that long ago. And they, uh, and they got jobs and they've moved on. They started their life, started their career, and they started right here at Job Corps. All right, one more segment. This is to acknowledge some more folks, the guys and, and girls that are here on campus who've done good things. All right, every week we have students doing really big things, and we want to recognize you in this edition of... So we have students doing big things, getting their gold card. Let's check it out real quick. Dustin Cook, I see you. Khalib Goldbach, oh, I guess you see us too, right? All right, Mackenzie Hamilton Williams, I see you. Andy Ho, I see you. And congratulations to Tasha Matheson. She graduated. I see you. On that gold card as well. But we also have students that do big things, working their way to the gold card. Let's talk about them for a second. All right, here's our silver card. Ahmad Alderich, James Allen, Jacob Bailey, I see you. Michael Bennett, Andrew Collins, Nicholas Craig, I write Arika Fleming, Zen Gannon, I see you. Rebecca Gonzalez, Devin Heath, Taj James, I see you. Kiara Jones McCracken, I see you. Anthony Lagarzo, Carl Marshall, Dalton Medley, Haley Miller, I see you. Let's see, Ellie Mugabe, Jacob Rosendale, Angel Vieira, Emmanuel Wilson, Ryan Wolf. I see you guys. We appreciate you guys and all your hard work, your constant attempt to improve your life, your education, and your future. That's all we have for this week's SPO report. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks, Mr. Romero. Well, every week we have a poll, and this week's poll is, are you registered to vote? And did you vote? Just go to our Twitter account at WJCTV to submit your vote. Speaking of social media, you can follow us at Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at the following addresses. 
I'm getting word that the weather report is ready, so let's give it another try. I'll be, I'll be sun and clear. That's all the show we have this week, and we would like to thank you all for our loyal followers for downloading every week and following us on all our social media platforms. Also, a special thanks to the staff and student body for your support. And remind you that if you want to be part of the show, email us at wjctv.cdp at gmail.com. So for the entire WJCTV crew, have a great week and we'll talk to you next time.